Hi. Now in this video what I want to do is show you how we go about finding equations of tangents and normals to a parabola. And in this question we've got to find the equation of tangents and normals at the point where x equals 9 on the curve y squared equals 16x. So at the point where x equals 9, there's going to be more than one point where x equals 9. If we were to just go along the x-axis to where x is 9, there's going to be a point up here and there's going to be a point straight down below it. So we'd have a tangent, something like this I would imagine, and there'll also be a tangent as well through that point there. They would actually cross because of the symmetry on the x-axis. But this is the point where x equals 9 and this also will be another point where x equals 9. But what we don't have is the corresponding y-coordinate if we're going to find out the equations of the tangents. So that's what I'd want to do first of all. Just by saying when x equals 9 we know that y squared equals 16x, so y squared must equal 16 times 9. And 16 times 9 is 144. So to get what y is, we just take the square root, and the square root of 144 will be plus or minus 12. So that gives us our corresponding y coordinates. We'd have 9, 12 for this point, and this one would be 9 minus 12. Well, being straight lines, we need to get the gradients of these lines, which will be found by getting the gradient of the curve at the point where x equals 9. Now, when it comes to working out the gradient, we need to differentiate our equation for the curve. We've got that y squared equals 16x. And there's two ways that we can go about differentiating this. We can either use implicit differentiation or we could make y the subject and just differentiate it that way. I'm going to go first of all though for differentiating implicitly. So I'm going to write differentiate with respect to x. And assuming that you're familiar with implicit differentiation, if not, you can always go on my website. There's plenty of tutorials on implicit differentiation. But assuming that you're OK with that, differentiate y squared with respect to x, we get 2y dy by dx. And then if we differentiate 16x with respect to x, we just have 16. And then if we divide both sides by 2y, we end up with, therefore, dy by dx equals 16 divided by 2, so that's going to be 8, and then it'll be over y. I'll call that equation 1. That's one way then that we could differentiate this. So let's just line that off there. So what was the other way? I'll do it in blue, okay, just to separate it. Or we could have done then that make y the subject, we could have square rooted both sides, that would give us y equals 4 root x, y equals 4 times the square root of x. But I'm going to write the square root of x as 4x to the power half. So it would follow from that result that if we were to differentiate this with respect to x, dy by dx would be equal to 4 times a half, which is 2 drop the power by 1, so it would be x to the power minus a half. In other words, 2 over the square root of x. 2 over x to the half, 2 over the root of x. And I'd call that the other version. Let's call it 2. So to work out the gradient then of these tangents, I would need to just say, for instance, if I'm going to use this version here, I could say when y equals 12, because it depends on y, dy by dx, or we could just say 1 gives, okay, that dy by dx equals 8 over 12. 8 over 12 cancels, you can divide top and bottom by 4, and you get 
two thirds. Or if you used two, let's just again do that in blue, you could say that when x equals nine, all right, then equation two gives dy by dx equal to 2 over the square root of x, x being 9, 2 over root 9, square root of 9 then will be 3, 2 thirds. So you've got a gradient there of 2 thirds. So either way we can therefore get the equation of the tangent. So therefore the equation of the tangent just write a header here, okay, and we'll say what point we're looking at, and that's the point where x is 9 and the corresponding y value is 12. What's it going to be? Well, if we use the standard formula y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, then it will be y minus y1, being 12, equals the gradient m at 2 thirds multiplied by x minus x1, x minus 9. Now I'll leave it up to you to rearrange it if you want into any particular format, but essentially that's the equation then of this tangent through here. And when it comes to working out what the equation of the normal is, then I've got to obviously get the gradient of the normal. And that gradient of the normal, let's just write it in here, gradient of normal. Okay, it's going to be the reciprocal, the negative reciprocal of what it was when x was equal to 9, or y was equal to 12. Same gradient, it was 2 thirds then for the tangent, so now it's going to be equal to minus 3 over 2. And so therefore we can similarly work out the equation of the normal. Alright, the normal at 912. Just by using y minus y1 again, y1 being 12 equals m the gradient minus 3 over 2 in this case multiplied by x minus x1. So it'd be x minus 9. So that would give us the equation of this normal here. Let's just draw that in. It's going to look something most probably like that. Okay, It'll carry on up there being at right angles obviously to the tangent. Well, if we want to get the equation of the normal here at 9 minus 12 and the equation of the tangent, then basically we've got to do much the same kind of thing again. And so if we just come down here, we can see that when x equals 9, we know that y would equal minus 12. When we're looking at this point here. So when it comes to the gradient of the tangent dy by dx we can use either 1 or 2, doesn't matter, but you'll find that that gradient if we use say 1 becomes 8 divided by minus 12 and so that's going to give us a gradient of minus 2 thirds. It really shouldn't come as any surprise because we've got this kind of reflective property in the x-axis. One gradient was two-thirds and the other gradient is now minus two-thirds. So once we've got that then we can work out the equation of the tangent. The equation of the tangent for this one will be y minus y1, so we y minus minus 12, so y plus 12 equals the gradient minus two thirds multiplied by x minus x1, x minus 9. And for the normal, remember the gradient of the normal will be the reciprocal, negative reciprocal of that of the tangent, so the gradient of the normal will be equal to 3 over 2, and so when it comes to the equation of the normal, well, that's going to be y minus y1, y minus minus 12, so it's y plus 12, equals the gradient m3 over 2, x minus x1, x minus 9. So we have the equations then of the tangent. Let's just 
underline that. The equation of the normal at the point x equals 9, y equals 12. And then at this point 9 minus 12, we've got the equation of the tangent and we've also got the equation of the normal. All right, so I hope it's given you some idea then how we can go about finding tangents and normals then to a parabola.